Hello everyone and welcome to another video. On March 22nd, 1999, a quaint little video game called Rollercoaster Tycoon was released. It was designed and programmed by a man called Chris Sawyer and together with Simon Foster's graphics and Alistair Brimble's music, he made a game that would probably fade into obscurity a few years later, as most video games do. Today, 25 years later, we know that that isn't quite how it went. In November 1999 and September 2000 we got two expansion packs which provided new scenarios, new rides and some new game mechanics. Two years after that, in October 2002, Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 was released. It looked almost identical to the original, but it was better in almost every way. More ride types, higher limits, more customization options and even the ability to create your own scenarios. This sequel was a resounding success and in 2003 it also got two expansion packs. Because the franchise remained successful, another sequel, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, was quickly made and released in 2004. It went into a completely different direction with the visuals, indicating that the charming isometric view from the first two games was passé. It worked well for the time, but as all things do, it became obsolete once newer and better graphics came along. Except, not really, as evidenced by the fact that you are watching this video on the channel of a man who makes a living from videos about Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Even though a newer game was released with RCT3, it failed to quite capture the same charm that the first two games had. And so, many people did return to the originals once they were finished with the third game. There were several online communities at this time, such as New Element Designs, that kept Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 and 2 alive and kicking. These communities weren't massive, but they were passionate, and that was enough to keep the game alive and inspire others to play it as well. In 2014, something massive would happen. Ten years after the release of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, the next Rollercoaster Tycoon game was announced, Rollercoaster Tycoon World. This amazing game would bring everyone back into the genre and nah I'm just kidding, Rollercoaster Tycoon World is an absolutely atrocious joke of a game. No, the actual important thing that happened in 2014 is that Ted John, better known as Intel Orca, would start working on OpenRCT2, an open source implementation of Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 with the goal of improving and expanding upon the game. It started off simple, but over the years the project improved the game more and more. Many quality of life improvements, a speed up function, the ability to play the game in modern HD resolutions, many useful cheats, autosave, much higher limits and even a few new coaster types. This project breathed much needed new life into the community and ever since then it's only been growing. While I did keep playing RCT 1 and 2 on and off through the years, I didn't get into any of the online communities until 2016 when I joined the r slash RCT subreddit. Via that place I found out about OpenRCT 2 and from the moment I had it I started playing it more and more. With OpenRCT 2 it really feels as if Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 was released in modern day, but with the charm and philosophy of the original. Ever since then I have seen and been part of so many amazing communities. The subreddit, the Rollercoasters and Friends Discord server, Dirklings community, the New Element community, the OpenRCT 2 Discord server and of course my own YouTube channel and Discord server. It is absolutely astonishing that today, 25 years after the original Rollercoaster Tycoon was released, there is still such an active community for RCT 1 and 2. No one could have ever expected that, but I am so happy that it exists. In those 25 years we have seen some astonishing and iconic builds and parks. From Matsku 84's Extreme Heights in 2008, to Flux Park in 2012, to Mr. Bones, to Dirklings Mega Parks, and to, if I may be so self-indulgent, some stuff from me, like my longest roller coasters. To celebrate all this and everything else, I will be doing a very long special livestream tomorrow on Friday the 29th of March. In the theme of 25 years of Rollercoaster Tycoon, I will be getting 25,000 guests in a single park in a single stream, which will probably take at least 10 hours to do. Usually I stream on Twitch, but as with the other big streams, this one will be right here on my YouTube channel. The stream will start at 12pm noon Central European time, and to make it easier to convert,
introvert, I have put the starting time of several places around the earth on screen right now. I hope to see you there as it will be a lot of fun and you will even have the chance to win some stuff. I am partnering with Atari to do 10 giveaways during the stream. 5 for a code that will give you $30 off on order when buying merch from the Atari website and another 5 for a code to get Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 Deluxe and Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 Triple Thrill Pack for free on Steam. The giveaways will be hosted via a little contest. Maybe you need to guess the stats of a coaster that I'm building, or maybe you need to guess how many guests a ride will get in the next 20 minutes, or maybe something else. All you need to do is provide your username, email and answer through a Google form, and I will announce the winner on stream and be in touch later after the stream. I'm very much looking forward to this, and hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow.